Hey Lunar Ticks. I hope these readings are finding you right on time. They are for anyone who identifies as a Virgo or is drawn to Virgo energy for whatever reason. Maybe it's your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, or otherwise any other sign. Or maybe you are interested in a specific Virgo energy. You might be trying to call that energy in. Uh, maybe you're just interested in what's going on with Virgo in general. And the first reading we're going to do will talk about uh, Virgo's general energy, so to speak. It could be like thought of as a general overview. What I mean is I want a space for whatever messages need or want to come through, right? And in the second reading, uh, in an attempt to make up for the fact that I didn't really get a November reading out for Virgo this month, uh, we'll uh, specifically narrow the focus in on Virgo's love life. Both are looking at uh, the week following the full moon in Gemini. So I do like that, even though it's so late in the month, that this gives us a chance to zoom in on, on that week following the full gem moon. And <clears throat> and we will go ahead and take a look back at uh, the, the month leading up to now and how the full moon energy started for Virgo. And then we will look forward into December in both readings. I'll try to make this so that you can actually take a peek at the cards, Virgos. I've been struggling with that, and I think, I'm thinking in December I may just go to a view of just the cards, and maybe stick with that until such a time as I can make a split screen situation happen, maybe? I'm not sure, but I want you to be able to see them. In any case, the Knight of Wands is representing you this month, Virgo. So um, I see you attracting like minds, kindred spirits, um, speeding toward enlightenment is, is a, a phrase that I associate with this card. And I think it comes after some loss or if not a specific loss, a period of lack that I think of uh, when I see the um, Five of Pentacles. That so far the reading shows you um, that throughout the first part of the month, throughout the beginning of November, Virgos, it shows that you were seeking support of some type. Maybe it was financial, um, only to end up in a space of feeling... Braced for opposition, if not defensive, uh, around the time that the full moon and Gemini energy started to really um, hit you or sink in. Sorry, I'm trying to. I was trying to get a peek at the the time, how far in we were. Three forty-four. Okay. And currently, the fact you know that the the fact that you're in that uh, space of speeding toward enlightenment this week, starting this week anyway, maybe yesterday, um, and or as I said, attracting like minds, kindred spirits, has you feeling like you're you're moving um, to a calmer mental and emotional state, into calmer waters is a phrase often associated with the Six of Swords, and in this uh, depiction. In particular, the Deviant Moon Tarot's rendition of the card, you can see that. I hope this isn't too loud for us. You can see that uh, it's it's through this character expanding and broadening uh, their own mind that they are able to move away from chaotic, hectic, perhaps temperamental. Um, 
lands, areas, right? States of mind, probably emotional states, likely. Um, and maybe it can often mean uh, it can sometimes mean someone literally moving too. Um, And I think if you aren't currently Virgos, um, I think you're realizing or some, some part of you may, um, be encouraging it, a literal actual move. Um, that might be something that's bubbling beneath the surface for some of you that you're, um, you, you, you are going to want to relocate, um. Maybe as a result of attracting these these kindred spirits, these like-minded individuals. Maybe because you've been seeking support of, of a different type that's not just financial throughout the month. Combined with the fact that some people that you're around now aren't kindred spirits, aren't like minds, or have been making you feel defensive lately. In any case, I, you know, that, that just may be an idea that's brewing currently in your subconscious, but it, you are definitely currently feeling like you're moving toward calmer, again, mental and emotional states. And the whole, the whole thing just may inspire you eventually to, to truly, literally, physically get away uh, from your circumstances as well. I may have done this once already. I wonder if I did. As I often will cut and then continue shuffling because I'm just not, just not thinking. In the near future, you have the Ace of Cups, Virgos, a new or renewed love, uh, an opportunity for happiness, um, an opportunity, um, an opportunity for true happiness, an opportunity for sharing intensely. Um, it can be a love offer. If it's a love offer, I feel that it's one that you're making. <clears throat> so that's sometime this week. Sometime throughout the week, you're encountering this Ace of Cups energy. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles in the more distant future. So moving into December, ending the week. Um, and then throughout the rest of the month, we're moving to the, the Eight of Wands. So it looks like slow, steady progress at the end of this week. And then things light up throughout December where the progress is expedited. And 888 may be particularly significant for you this week, Virgos. I see the Eight of Swords underneath the Eight of Wands here. Expedited progress, but maybe feeling a little overwhelmed uh, since it's happening um, toward the end of the year. Um, you may have a lot going on, maybe specifically with family and friends if you're you're doing holiday things in the U.S., um, but just end of the year things in general. And I was going to say I'm surprised to see the expedited progress throughout December for that reason, um, but a lot of things need to get done before the end of the year, right? And that's where you're at. You're trying to do everything. And... It may be too much. There may be too much going on. It may just feel um, 
unfair that there's so much on your plate. Um, but yeah, I also see the Eight of Cups in the reading as what you are... Um, strengthened by walking away from something uh, not meant for you that doesn't serve you, right? So again, 888 may be particularly significant, uh, not necessarily in um, linked in any way to what I was just talking about that just came up at the same time. But I do see this expedited progress. And again, it might be because a lot of things have to get done at the end of the year. Um, for some Virgos, it's like you throughout November were seeking support of some type and may maybe for some it was um, financial support um, and you found a way to get what you need or, or whatever resources you need. It's just um, meaning that you're very busy throughout December to, to make it happen, right? Your obstacle or a weakness of yours is a Leo. No, um, for some, yes, for some it's a Leo. Um, yeah. Um. Someone, well, your perhaps your own pride, right? Maybe your own pride for some of you. Some of you are dealing with a Leo Libra, specifically if you think of them, a couple of their placements as a Leo, this is a Leo Libra to you that you're dealing with. You're, they're a weakness of yours. Um, they're your obstacle this week for some reason, maybe in getting away from this hectic environment, state of mind, um, and you're like afraid of their, something about their Libra aspects. Um, and this would be someone who you thought of as a divine masculine in your life, uh, whether that means in terms of a counterpart or not, um, but they're being egoic, prideful, controlling, uh, overbearing, domineering um, but for others it's your own pride it's your own that you're that you're dealing with it that you're needing to overcome in some way this week um, or some of you Virgos or some of you specifically in particular, another message are dealing with this week, the fact that you're um, afraid of your own, your own happiness. And as I said, you do have an opportunity coming sometime this week uh, for, you know, for true happiness. And it probably entails intense sharing, either with a lot of people or really deep sharing with, with one or a few people. Um, and the partnership on this card, the dance, the partnership, the two characters playing happily, dancing happily together is the first thing that stood out to me when I took a look at it. Um, it may be that some of you are afraid to let loose and relax and have fun because there is so much to do that you have to get done this week and you know that progress is expedited throughout the the rest of December. It may be like some of you are in your fear position is the justice card, the precise and impartial truth cutting away the untrue. And with with 
your own true, genuine, authentic happiness as a as your your obstacle, as something that you might be um, afraid to realize for some reason, and then the 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 precise and impartial truth cutting away the untrue in your fear position here in the spread. I uh, really, I'm thinking that some of you are afraid. That if you fully enjoy your success, which is your happiness, which is very intimately intertwined with and connected to your happiness, you, you're afraid you'll realize you don't deserve it, or someone will teach you, let you know that you don't deserve it, or... Um, You're just, you're afraid that it's, that it, you'll realize it doesn't belong to you or something. Um, that's, again, that's just for some, not, not all. Some are, are dealing with their own pride, their own ego, or the ego and pride of, again, a divine masculine energy in their lives. And if, You know, and that could be your own divine masculine aspects and your own divine masculine side. Um, you're hoping for this um, happy, comfortable, stable home life. Again, currently this week you're moving away from this, this chaotic energy. And as I said at the beginning, some of you may be starting to think that you literally want to move. You are hoping for this happy, comfortable home and family life. Some of you are needing to realize that, needed to, to needing to be reminded right now here that you are hoping for that, that true happiness um, if you are, you know, a little afraid of it. Some, some could be trying to deal with their son without the, the father being present or a masculine energy being present. In any case, um, your strength, again, I'll show you again this week, is the Eight of Cups. Walking away from things that aren't meant for you, from things that don't serve you, is really what needs to be said here. Um, this is what's supporting you, what's helping you. is So when you, when you get that urge, when you get that feeling, when you feel that surprising burst of strength to go ahead and walk away from something that you know doesn't serve you, even though it's hard to walk away from, that you know isn't helping to elevate you in, in ways that you need to be. Um, grab a hold of it and 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 run with it, that strength, and, and do, do walk away because that's what I see supporting you. More clarifiers, right? And then we'll move on to your love reading. Another eight. So scratch that. Eight, 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 eight may be particularly significant. Um, well, okay. So for those of you Virgos who I said, um, who, who, when I said, that the progress would be expedited throughout December. For those of you who are resistant to that, because um, as I said, it just feels a little unfair to have so much going on. That it leaves you feeling overwhelmed. Um, the, the strength to walk away from what's not, whatever isn't serving you, really whatever, <laughs> whatever's not making you happy. Um,
can be connected to slowing that down a little bit throughout December if that's what you're wanting, if that's what you're needing. There may be some some commitments, some timelines that you can reschedule, rethink. Um, I had that feeling coming through about Virgos before the reading. I was trying to get in touch with Virgo energy right now and realized that I just needed to get deeper in touch with Virgo energy in general and um, that's that was a that was something that a quality that was sort of like highlighting and coming through was uh, the fact that you have so many options Virgos that you try and you try to choose them all right you can choose so many different avenues and you can get so much done but you try to do it all and before you know it you can end up feeling a need or victimized or even downright to, ready to be selfish because you ha you haven't had time to give yourself what you need. Um, just losing track of the fact that if you're going to take on many things, one of those things still has to remain taking care of you. And and honestly, first and foremost, um, which I you know I know you know that I know we know that. It's just. I, ha I, sh I just have to say, because I got that feeling about Virgos before I started the reading, um, and it really, it stems from, what came through was that it stems from the fact that you have so many options. Um, you can choose to do so many different things. Um, I can't remember exactly how it pre presented itself. Um, Of course, you're you're a hard worker and you can get the work done, um, but you simultaneously feel and want to follow the call to nurture everyone and everything, and and then um, I can't remember the the couple of other avenues that clearly came through, but um, you 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 can choose all of them at different times, right? But trying to do all of the, the different avenues that are options to you at once, uh, it, it would overwhelm anyone. It would overwhelm anyone. Anyway, that, anyway, that came through before and I feel it now. Maybe that's why. Um, that may that may have a lot to do with why something that's not serving you needs to be walked away from. Maybe something that you committed to that you you know you wanted to do and it's just it's 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 going to make December unenjoyable for you. It's going to steal your joy in December and you can't and you can't let it. Um it may and that very well for some of you that is the the opportunity for true happiness that is um, present here this week is the opportunity to to walk away from this thing to say uh, actually uh, I don't have time to do that or you know just just presented with an opportune moment to to convey to the right person that you need to back out on something. I'm not sure if that's exactly what it is, but uh, certainly walking away from something that, that uh, honestly isn't meant for you with the Eight of Cups. Consider that. If it's something that it just you really don't want to do, um, it's going to really, for some of you I'm feeling, give you a stomach, stomach ache in, in December to, to continue to, to keep this commitment. Um, 
consider that if that if you're feeling that that you don't want to do it is that strong perhaps it's meant for someone else to do or really not meant for you to do because that's the other message that i always see with the eight of cups um and and you're hoping for this happy comfortable grounded home and family life um as i'm sure certainly in the near future um, and distant future, right? But if if the energy that you are responsible for bringing to the picture is your own anxious, overwhelmed, too many commitments energy, um, then you know you're you're sabotaging it. No matter who else is part of the picture, or what else is part of the picture, or how perfectly you arrange everything else in it, right? If your energy is stressed and busy coming to it. And I don't mean to like, for some of you, you feel, you feel like you have no choice. You are just going to be stressed and busy this week, this month, uh, come into the, in the coming months of the, of the next year even. Um, and, and I'm here to remind you that you do have a choice. I don't know exactly what your situation circumstances are, but I do know you have a choice. It may not be easy, but you do have a choice. And, and, and very simply put, if something steals your peace, it's, it's too expensive then, right? It's, it's not, it's not worth it. But I do see, I think this is, I think I'm, I think I'm uh, affirming things that you are already already have a hold of on your own a lot of you because I do see here in this on the table in this picture that is painted before me that you as the character who is speeding toward enlightenment are speeding toward this happiness uh, and probably you know this opportunity for true happiness um, that you even though it is a weakness an obstacle Consider that perhaps the reason you put so much on your plate and you're wanting to just be busy and stressed is because there is some reason you're afraid to just enjoy and relax and be. Um, like I said, for some of you specifically, feeling that um, imposter syndrome, like, or, or just, you know, uh, something like that, so something similar, like the feeling of, you know, like I said, am I really worthy of all this? Do I really deserve all this? Um, of course you do. It's yours. Um, but, but just consider, you know, if, if you're, if you're saying like, no, I can't, I can't, I, I don't have a choice. I can't allow myself to be less busy. Well, why would you not want to let yourself relax? Maybe it's not that. Maybe it's not being afraid to 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 make sure your happiness belongs to you, that you're deserving of it. But um, and you would find that you are. But but if not that, then what other reason? Why else might you be not wanting to let yourself relax? Because that's what's ultimately happening. Um. And I do, I also, again, I'm going to repeat that I see this opportunity for intense sharing. I think that falls in line with the same message that your, your happiness and, and it is, is, it looks like based on this opportunity to communicate something with someone and walk away from something that's not meant for you. So I think I see you needing to communicate to someone that you need to walk away from something not meant for you. Um. And it may be some, a commitment or something, it may be something that you haven't taken on yet. It may be that one of these like-minded individuals, kindred spirits that you've attracted around you um, is, uh, is wanting more than just friendship and specifically, or any other type of commitment that you haven't actually taken on yet. 
and you've got an opportunity to say, just say no. Um, but either way, in any case, um, you are headed toward the Knight of Pentacles energy, as I said, in the, at the by the end of the week. By the end of the week. Um, this, again, stable, dependable, loyal, um, sometimes stubborn uh, energy with um, the tendency to pay attention to detail. So, you, you know, you're not wanting to overlook any of the tasks that you need done this week. And, um, and, and an energy that moves with a sense of purpose. And that is, a, that is the energy, I do believe it's representing your energy at the end of the week. The, that is the energy that you uh, want to and, and are able to take into this um, picture of a happy, comfortable, stable home and, and family life if, if it's more than just something you're hoping for, you know, if it's something that you're, you're reaching. Uh, it may be a, a, a distant goal may resonate as a distant goal for you, but, um, you, you are having this, this stable, dependable energy, reaching the stable, dependable energy of your own that you can, can bring to, to that home, contribute to, to that stability, right? And I also want to pull, um, <clears throat> I also want to pull a uh, an advice card. I know we're already over a half an hour, but I do want one uh, advice card for you as well. Regarding this this general reading, this situation for Virgo. I'm forever asking the deck for one piece of advice or one piece of clarification and, and constantly getting two and three and four. <laughs> See? And sometimes it's frustrating and I feel stubborn. No, I said one. I just want one. <laughs> Which doesn't really make any sense, right? I shouldn't I shouldn't fight it, but sometimes it's it's a matter of time. The Two of Pentacles is that one piece of advice that came out for us, um, speaking to balancing, juggling, um, sometimes uh, in regards to juggling funds, but honestly, a resource of any type, so possibly just your own energy and time, like I was just talking about, uh, needing to manage your time. Um, it can be juggling choices of a sort. Um It can sometimes be stalling. It, it can sometimes denote um, the need to delegate, and perhaps that's the advice. You may need to um, delegate some of your responsibilities to others this week. Um, what's, what's coming to mind immediately for me is uh, maybe whatever task or commitment you have to say no to or um, back out of, you could find an appropriate placement. Um, maybe you're the one who finds the person who was actually meant to do that uh, instead of you. At the same time, there's this reminder that you have the ability to create your world. So, you know, if you are stressed, overwhelmed, busy, find that you're uh, moving away from a chaotic energy only to... to um, another environment that's at least just as busy um, and so and so chaotic in another way you can certainly ask yourself how you may contribute to to creating that um, because you do Virgo have the ability to create not only whatever destiny you choose but but also you know the, the environment around you the, the, the circumstance that you want to be a part of, that you want to find yourself in. Um, again, as we were talking about earlier, 
in creating that picture and creating your, your destiny, the only thing you can't choose is everything all at once. Um, and it's, and it may be hard to choose with so many options. And that's why some, we sometimes try to choose everything all at once. Um, but then that's how we have to admit that we're contributing to the chaos in our own lives that we would, would like to, to move away from, right? But with that, Virgos, <clears throat> we will go ahead and move on to your uh, love reading. And I plan to use the Radiant Rider Weight for that reading. Information about all of the decks will be in the description of the video if I didn't say that already. In terms of your love life, uh, Virgos, you may be trying to rebuild something currently this week. You're either trying to rebuild something or you're in something that needs to fall apart so that you can rebuild and you're um, resisting letting that happen. And in that way, you're trying to rebuild something in the relationship that you're already in, right? While others are trying to rebuild something with someone from their past. Because you are not only extremely attracted to and passionate about this individual, but they offer you a sense of shared emotional fulfillment that we see pictured here in the uh, Ten of Cups. If you don't have a family with them or talk about having a family with them, then you certainly daydream about it. And even if they are only daydreams, thoughts, talks, plans, I do see the two of you moving toward that shared emotional fulfillment energy in the near future by the end of the week, um, even if only because you both know that that's what you both want or you sense it on some level. Um, now... Since we see a need to rebuild here, um, it's likely that, as I said, it's it's something from the past that fell apart at one time, or it's something that is in danger of falling apart now. Um, So there's been fights, there have been um, maybe harsh words exchanged, there have been some certainly negative thoughts concerning and surrounding uh, the, the, the relationship. Um, if you are single, well first, and so, and so to continue that thought, and so... Um, there is currently need for some um, solemn meditation and contemplation at this time, some rest after those battles, whether they were just mental and within yourselves or, or, on, or out loud with one another uh, or both. Um, there's need for independent rest and, and uh, recharge after, after that. If you're single, if you're not in, in, involved in a relationship or trying to rebuild things, then it's likely um, uh, 
well, if you're single, you are trying to rebuild after that having fallen apart on your own, right? Uh, and But it looks like there is someone or something that you feel very passionate about that uh, pulling your focus currently, right? And by focusing on that passion, whether it's a new person or, or more likely um, a new passion project, uh, something related to your creativity um, and or your, your spirituality, which I believe is just it, those two things are so intimately intertwined. Um, and that will lead you to someone that you can have this shared emotional fulfillment with. If not a, a new partner uh, a, at first, at least company that offers you this beautiful feeling of shared emotional fulfillment in a, a different way, right? In a different form, rather. Too many. So leading up to this point, so probably throughout the beginning of November, um, and what this is rooted in. is someone's success. So you or someone you are involved with or have been or are um, in pushing forward toward, I think, their success in, in another area of their life outside of the relationship, career, finances, etc. Um, caused uh, this upheaval or this current space where there's a danger that there will be upheaval um, caused the issue at hand, we'll say. And, and If it's the other person, okay, if it's if it's the other person that you are trying to rebuild with, whose success or, or strive toward it caused an issue, a problem within the relationship, the advice here is to offer them a heartfelt expression. Um, Try to be uh, understanding about the fact that their success wasn't all that they hoped it would be because it caused a problem between the two of you. They weren't even able to completely enjoy something that they worked very hard for. Um, and I may be talking about you instead. And actually, it is bringing me to tears um, to talk about this. Not a subject matter that, that ever has brought me to tears for myself or anyone that I know personally, honestly. Not, uh, but th this person worked, somebody, one of you worked really hard to get where you were going. And the, again, the fact that it ended up causing a problem between the two of you really spoiled that success. It, it Certainly changed, not spoiled necessarily, but changed the nature of it, right? It, it couldn't it couldn't be enjoyed to the same extent. And there's this advice that a heartfelt expression needs to be offered. Um, and, and for some, if again, if, if it is the other person, what I mean is I, I think the advice is to offer an expression of understanding and sympathy and empathy toward them for... Um, concerning that fact that, that they weren't able to enjoy it. 
that, that they weren't able to enjoy that, that success to the fullest extent. If you are working on your own creative, spiritual passion project, we'll say, uh, pursuits, uh, on your own independently outside of your relationship or in lieu of one, following one, um, in hopes that it will, with an intuition or inclination that it will, it might lead you toward um, shared emotional fulfillment, individuals who could, could offer you that in some capacity, uh, and that is what I see happening here, then, um, then I believe that advice offering a heartfelt expression is in, for, for you all, is, is in terms of that creative spiritual work project that you are, that you're doing. Um, make sure that it's coming from the heart. Make sure that it's genuine. Um, don't, uh, don't be, um, well, well, just be focused on the, the, the aspects of it that are, that are authentic and genuine and, and that make you feel good to engage in, in what it is that you're, you're working on, right? Um, At the same time, there's the other piece of advice is the Ace of Pentacles, which makes me think that if you're working on a passion project in lieu of a of a um, relationship or just following one, uh, it can be something that you could turn into a business. It might be the very beginning of a business. Um, so, so you know. Both both pieces of, of both pieces of advice are here to to consider the business aspects of this and to consider how you could could possibly make this inspiration also a lucrative opportunity with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles showing up, uh, but to to not forget why you're you're doing what you're doing to not forget um, the purpose behind it maybe how you could can uh, help others if that's the nature um, of whatever else is distracting you. Now, if we are talking about um, yours or your partner's, um, if we are talking, you know, in terms of, of, of Virgos who are in a relationship trying to rebuild something, we could be talking about um, yours or your partner's success that we were referring to before. Um, there could be advice for some of you to not only express, and if you are attempting to rebuild, um, to not only express your understanding that they couldn't enjoy that success, but continue to help them forward. Uh, can the two of you be working on, could the two of you be building off of start building off of the success that one of you has already reached together and create a, create a business of some kind together um, or, or as a team somehow. Because I do see this equal give and take in the near future. Um, if it's not something that you, you're realizing, it's something you know you want in the near future as you uh, reach this shared emotional fulfillment with with someone, if not a partner, um, it's 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 dependent on this equal give and take and this empathy that we were talking about having having and showing empathy toward whomever in the root of the situation wasn't able to fully enjoy their own hard earned success, and if that was you then you know that you need that from this partner you're trying to rebuild with, um, or you need that, at least need that type of empathy with any future partner if you're, if you're single. 
Um, and I think these are things that you, you probably find at least touch on, on your own in this, um, four of swords space. Um, this, this solemn medita meditation and contemplation. I am not sure that you are giving yourself time for that yet. I think that when your ego is quiet in your crowning thoughts, you know that you need that. You know that you both need that. Um, so some of you are not allowing for it for yourself. Some are not allowing for it for your partner. Um, some it's both, but you know that you both, that one, you know that you need that. And if there is a partner involved here, that they do too. Um, and it's also a space, I always say, with the Four of Swords to show gratitude for what's left after whatever type of battle you've been through. The re the re that the relationship is still salvageable, if that's the case. Um, but if it's, if it's post something that has already fallen apart, then perhaps... Um, showing gratitude for the fact that, you know, that for the parts of you that um, you stood up for, that you honored, that led to you being on your own. Um, but really, you know, that's, that's specific to each individual, you know, whatever got you through uh, that battle, whatever pulled you through that space, whatever you found as a result of it, uh, whatever has been illuminated in you as a result of it, maybe some surprising strength of your own, um, maybe someone who you realize offered you that strength in your past, um, maybe for how the other person handled it along with you, et cetera, et cetera. Like I said, it's specific to the individual, but it's, but it's just worth noting that it's a space, it's a space for gratitude as well. It's not a space for me to tell you what to be grateful for, but those are examples. Um, the strength card showing up there though also denotes to me that this rebuilding is happening as a result of you being aware that you want to tame some some desires and tendencies of yours um, maybe that led to, to any upheaval or issue or problem within the relationship. And again, it, but then again, there's the, the message also here for those who, who are not with somebody, aren't trying to rebuild. Most, most I think, are trying to rebuild, actually. Um... And one way or another, you know, it's, it's, it's because you're willing to tame some things about you that you think have contributed to the problem. For some, I have to say, you're working on something that, as I said in the beginning, needs to fall apart so that you can find this true shared emotional fulfillment and passion with someone else um, or just with yourself first and foremost but others and that's you know that's only you all know that um, for others you you are rebuilding something with someone who um, it's because you do have that true true shared emotional fulfillment or will uh, and passion for, for that person but in any case, in either case, I, I see the message that it, it is because um, you, at least, and I'm not saying that they're not, but what's showing here is that you, at least, are um, willing, to, willing to show the whole situation unconditional love, both yourself and them, um, and, and you know that that will mean, again, not changing, I don't want to use that word, but taming, taming some things, um, some wild habits, whether we're talking about your temper or your sexual appetite or otherwise, um, some wild habits of yours, you're, you're ready to, willing to tame those to try to rebuild this connection. 
And then for, for singles, you know, that strength card can be showing up because, again, it was, it was your, I felt, defense of yourself and, and, and honoring yourself that probably led to you being on your own now. Um, and you too, I don't know if I said this, but you too are in a space where you're, you need this, this rest, this healing, um, after post battle. Right. Um, and when I see the four of swords, it's not in reverse, it's in the upright. And it's showing in your crowning thoughts, so I think it's something you already know. But when I see the Sword of Swords, I definitely don't ignore it. It's something that can end up causing a health issue if you don't take that time for rest and meditation that's prescribed. Um, moving throughout December, though, that shared emotional fulfillment is at the end of the week. But then moving throughout December, and certainly by the end of it, you see this expedited progress in whatever area you're working on. So it may mean that you need to allow for, if you're in a partnership, um, it may mean that you need to allow for this rest and meditation and solemn contemplation to continue throughout the rest of the week, but then throughout the month, you'll see expedited progress in, in terms of you all connecting and starting to rebuild in a tangible, um, united way. I think we're actually going to use the um, Paulina Cassidy Spirit Song Tarot to get a piece of advice. I'm not going to take those three, though. I'm going to get a piece of advice for you. Um, now, if you're if we're talking to single Virgos and we're talking about this passion project you're focused on, then that's what I think you'll see expedited progress in. Uh, through throughout or, or at least by the end of December. So don't be discouraged if it doesn't happen until the very end of December. Um, ha it, having it, the progress expedited in time for the new year sounds like it might be right on time to me. Your advice is the Empress card. Beauty and Abundance. And the Eight of Acorns, which is the Eight of Wands. So 88. Didn't we already say that 88 may be particularly significant to you? We said 8888, eight, 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 right? And now 88. So maybe six eights may be particularly significant to you. Eights everywhere. Crazy eights. 888. Um, fun. That's fun. Um, but as... So as a you know as advice where you put your energy is where you will see results is that my first thought because energy and results are noted on the 8 of wands um which definitely falls in line with that message for those who are dealing with a partnership where someone's success led to the problem to begin with. I don't know if that was you, if that was them. And, and there are so many messages here. I know that one's not for all of you, but for those of you, um, for all of you, but specifically those of you, where we put our energy is where we will see our results. Um, the Empress card it notes beauty and abundance here. For masculine energies wondering if this is a divine feminine energy that you're dealing with, You know, I was going to say, then yes, it is, but no, it's not. If you're wondering, if you don't know, then no, it's not. <laughs> but um, the Empress card, I mean, it's talking about, it is talking about divine feminine energy, perhaps tapping into your own 
um, in order to offer this heartfelt expression that we talked about, right? Whether you need to offer your empathy and heartfelt expression to someone else who wasn't able to, to the nurturing of the relationship in general, um, or to this possibly passion project uh, that you're working on, and any and any people who may interact with that with that project that work, um, there then the advice is to tap into your your uh, divine feminine aspects, uh, which makes sense. Um, it does make sense to to see the Ace of Wands and the Empress, the Ace of Wands in the center of the reading, and the Empress as. Um, overlooking it as the advice uh, whatever you're passionate about whatever um, whatever has inspired you uh, as of late and, and is inspiring cu you currently um, the type of energy that we want to direct at it is this this nurturing gentle soft energy that's denoted here in this picture um and it may very well sorry my phone's saying so many things to me it may very well be um a renewed passion like i said something from the past that you're we're rebuilding for most it is um it's it's the birth of something spiritual, no matter how you look at it, no matter what, what you're working on, whether it's a divine relationship um, or another a project outside of relationships that you're birthing, again, in lieu of focusing on that. And it needs to be nurtured. There's uh, two seeds here, right? There are two aces. There's the ace of wands and then the ace of pentacles as advice too. Both seeds that need to be watered, that need to be nurtured in order to, to come to anything. The project, the relationship, potentially business for some who are single, um, is in need of nurturing. In order to rebuild or build whatever you're going for, it that you need to mother it. Whether you're male, female, masculine, feminine... with a gentle hand. And quickly, and quickly, this week, that heartfelt expression needs to happen this week. This rabbit can, can, this gentle, soft energy can also take flight at any second, right? And then you have the Eight of Wands showing up twice. Two of the six eights that have shown up for you, right? And quickly. It needs to be done quickly. There's a reason that, um, I think, I want to say that there's a reason that you didn't have a full month read. You had a weekly reading that we did zoom in on this. It's There's some action on this, some... Uh, loving, nurturing action on this needs taken this week. This person needs this empathy, this heartfelt expression soon, or this project does. Whatever you're rebuilding, it needs that heartfelt expression from you. The seed needs watered now. Time is fluid. It's a little different for everyone. It might be in December before that happens for some of you, but I'm led to say you need to do it this week. So I hope that helps. I truly hope that, that that gave you something, Virgos, that you didn't have when you came to the reading. Um, thank you so much just for checking it out. Thank you for liking and subscribing. If you haven't, I truly appreciate that. And for uh, messaging me and emailing me and commenting and sharing, uh, do please comment and, and, and or message if you don't want it to be public and let me know. Um, uh, if the, the messages did resonate for you in any way, I'm terribly interested if they did uh, and how. So uh, I love when, when you all let me know. And um, I truly also appreciate the donations and orders. I am grateful for each and every one of our energy exchanges here. 
if you would like a private reading from me, um, yes, I do offer those. Just scroll down to the description of the video. You can check them out there or on the banner of my channel or the about section of my channel. Uh, all the links are there, both places. You can also just go ahead and email me at lunaticstarot at gmail.com and I'm happy to talk to you about your options. Um, I've already said probably way too many times I'm taking a break on the free readings for now. Um, there is a less expensive option. It's down below in the description too. Just check that out. It's not a um, video recording. It's just um, pictures and, and email response, but it's a, it's a quick cheap way to get uh, answers to questions. So there's that. And let me see if I'm forgetting anything, Virgos. I think that's everything. I love you very much, and I will post another tarot fix for you very soon.